Hello, welcome to your in-depth horoscope forecast for week commencing the 11th of May for the Sun or the Ascendant. If you've yet to subscribe to my channel, I'd be honoured if you did so now. Please click or tap on the bell notification symbol. You can also chat to me direct on Twitter at Horoscope Ace, or you can uh, subscribe to your free daily horoscope or monthly free astrology magazine by seeing the link beneath this video. Well, when it comes to astrological weeks, it doesn't get much busier than this one. It's absolutely jam-packed with changes, and some of these are very exciting. Saturn, the planet of structure, begins its retrograde in the sign of Aquarius on Monday. It's going to retrace its steps and then move back into the sign of Capricorn on the 2nd of July before returning to Aquarius on the 17th of December. Also this week, on Tuesday, Mercury, the planet of communication, moves into its home zone of Gemini, where it joins up with Venus and, of course, the North Node. Now this is going to give us an opportunity to flex our mental muscles that much more quickly, but also, ironically, on Wednesday, Venus in Gemini also goes into retrograde, which will last through to the 23rd of June. Also on Wednesday, Mars moves out of Aquarius and into Pisces, the 12th solar house. And finally, on Thursday, Jupiter, the planet of, of expansion, starts to retrace its steps in the sign of uh, Capricorn, and it's going to be in reverse for four long months. Now, already, Pluto is retracing its steps in Capricorn too. So, these are very significant changes. Also, we have a quarter moon on Thursday in the sign of Aquarius. And when it comes to our resources, our financial planning, or even our friendships, I do feel that the quarter moon does ask us to be a little more cautious in our approach when it comes to what we are getting into. So if there is some kind of way you're flexing to COVID-19, trying to be flexible, which would be a very positive thing to do. And obviously the conversations we have this week with Mercury's help can be very helpful, but it is going to be important to just have maybe a short-term plan as well as that longer-term plan. Now this week also sees Venus continue its long uh, square with Neptune. And with Venus now in retrograde, the potential for muddle around relationships is heightened. But it also can make us much more sensitive to other people. So is there a tie that we need to be more open to, to raise our vibration, to perhaps connect to someone in a different way? Also, right through this week, the Sun in Taurus is forging an amazing link with Pluto in Capricorn in the part of uh, our situation to deal with worldly interaction. Now this suggests that if we can go with the flow around the changes we're being pushed to make at the moment, it actually is going to be a much smarter thing to do than to try to cling on to something that is going to fundamentally alter. And if we can therefore accept that our values, our outlook, our associations, our whole mindset is in a state of some would say flux, some would say evolution. It depends on our relationship to this crisis. But if we can go with it, it will be something that we can benefit more from than if we try to resist it. Your specific forecast, Taurus, suggests that with Saturn going retrograde in your sector of work, that might be an area where things are going to slow down or you need to rethink. And of course, with Jupiter also going retrograde in your sector of adventure, 
and also the current COVID uh, crisis, it may be that you can't get out and explore and do different things in quite the way you would like. But that doesn't mean to say that change isn't happening for you. And with the sun forging an awesome angle to Pluto all through this week, some very profound alterations can be going on deep within your very being. So if our external experiences are being limited somewhat at the moment, that doesn't mean to say that we can't evolve deep within us. Also, Venus, your ruler, of course, does go into retrograde. This just asks you through to the 23rd of June and maybe through to the end of July even because of it being in shadow, to be a little bit more thrifty about your resources. Of course, many of us are having to be that anyway at the moment. But the other thing to watch out for this week is that Venus is in a square with Neptune. And there could be somebody that may be a friend even, that may in some ways tell you what you want to hear, but that's not necessarily going to be good for you. And if you are attracted to somebody new, I do feel one of the most important things about this connection is whether you share similar values. It won't just be on uh, the level of attraction, the level of sensual connection, the electricity. You need to feel that there is some kind of simpatico between us in terms of those shared uh, values and resources. It's been a real pleasure being with you. Thank you so much for having joined me. If you'd like to check out having a one-to-one -one with me, please see the testimonials beneath this video. If you've yet to access serious astrology, you can also check out my astrology reports, which are very affordable, and you can get a character analysis and also 12-month forecast totally unique to you and get 30% off. Also, please see beneath this video. But for now, stay safe, take care and good luck.